Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. QuickBooks Online doesn't have a native mileage tracker, but you can reimburse employees for mileage and bill clients for mileage. To do this, you must create both a mileage income and mileage expense account, and also create a mileage product or service. Creating the product or service item lets you enter the standard mileage rate for billing to customers and reimbursing to employees, as well as associate the amounts with the income and expense accounts you create. This saves you time later when creating invoices to collect mileage from customers and entering bills to reimburse the employees, as the information appears automatically. To create a new income and expense account for mileage, click the gear button and then click the chart of accounts link under the Your Company heading. In the chart of accounts window, click the new button to open the account creation menu. To create the mileage expense account, use the category type dropdown to choose expenses. From the detail type dropdown, choose auto to note this account is associated with an automobile. Enter a name in the name field, like auto mileage, for example. Optionally, you can also enter an account number into the number field and an account description into the description field. The final option is to set this account as a sub-account if needed. When finished, click the Save and Close button to create the new account and close the window. To create a new mileage income account, click the New button once again. Select the regular income account from the category type, and then select Service Fee Income from the detail type if you regularly bill clients for mileage. If you only occasionally bill for mileage, you may be able to select Other Income from the category type drop-down, and then select Other Miscellaneous Income from the detail type drop-down. After categorizing the income account, enter a name for the account into the Name field, and complete the rest of the account fields as needed. Then click the Save and Close button to save the account. To create a new product or service for mileage, click the Gear button and then click the Products and Services link under the Lists heading. On the Products and Services page, click the New button to open the Product Service Information page. Click the Non-Inventory Choice in the pane. Then enter a name for the product or service, like Mileage. Check both the I sell this product service to my customers and the I purchase this product service from a vendor checkboxes under the sales information and purchasing information sections. You can fill out the description on sales forms and the description on purchase forms as needed. Enter the standard mileage rate into the sales price or rate and cost fields like 0.535 for 53.5 cents reimbursement per mile. The final option is to select the mileage income account you just created from the income account drop down and the mileage expense account you just created from the expense account drop down. Then click the save and close button to save the item and close the pane. To bill a customer for mileage Add the mileage line item to the customer's next invoice. Then enter the total miles to bill into the quantity column for the line item. This multiplies the miles entered by the standard mileage rate to create the total billable mileage amount. Alternatively, if you reimburse your employees for the mileage first, you can actually enter the mileage as billable when cutting the check to the employee and associate it with the specific customer at that time. Later on, you can then add the mileage you paid to the employee to the customer's next invoice as a billable expense. To reimburse employees for mileage, you can either enter the mileage as a check to the employee in the Write Checks window or enter the amounts into the Enter Bills window. To enter the amounts into the Enter Bills window, however, you must first add a record for the employee into the Vendors list, as QuickBooks Online Plus only lets you select vendors when creating bills. If you do this, consider entering the employee's name with Mileage after it in the Company field when creating the new vendor record, like John Doe-Mileage. To enter the mileage reimbursement as a check, Click the Create button, and then click the Check link. In the Check window, select the name of the employee to reimburse from the drop-down in the upper left corner.
if you will be saving the check so you can enter mileage reimbursements for multiple days, check the Print Later checkbox. Then, in the Item Details section, select the Mileage Item from the Product Service column. Then enter the number of miles into the Quantity column. If you have not yet billed the customer for the miles, you can check the Billable checkbox for the line item and select the name of the customer to bill from the Customer drop-down. If saving the check to print later after adding more mileage line items, choose one of the Save buttons at the bottom of the window. If printing the check now, just click the Print Check link at the bottom of the window instead. Alternatively, to enter reimbursable mileages bills, click the Create button and then click the Bill link under the Vendors heading. In the Bill window, select the name of the employee you entered as a vendor from the Choose a Vendor drop-down. In the Item Details list, choose the Mileage, Product, or Service item you created from the Product Service column and enter the number of miles into the Quantity column. Just as when using the Check method, if you have not yet billed the customer for the miles, you can check the Billable checkbox for the line item and select the name of the customer to bill from the Customer drop-down. When finished, click a Save button choice to save the bill. To write a check for the reimbursable mileage entered into the bill's window, click the Expenses link in the navigation bar and then click the Vendors link at the top of the page that opens to the right to show the vendor's list. In the vendor's list, find the employee you entered as a vendor and click the Make Payment link in the Action column to open the Bill Payment page. Select the correct bill or bills you entered and process the check to the employee as normal. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.